everybody, I'm Christy Jordan of southernplate.com and I'm so excited to finally be able to come back and read you another story. I had a hard time with my camera not working right and I would record myself reading stories and it would show me talking but then the words would come later and it just looked kind of silly and I didn't think y'all could follow along with that too well. <laughs> it was very confusing. So I finally got my camera fixed, I hope. Cross your fingers for me, say a little prayer. And now I'm back with a very special story for me. So before we get started, can you wave at me? Thank you! I love it when you wave at me. And I always wave back. I'm so excited that you let us spend this time together because it's always very special for me. So today I have a book that my son's kindergarten teacher read him. Miss Mary Mould was his kindergarten teacher's name. And he came home from school one day so excited telling me all about this penguin named Tacky. And I thought, well, that just sounds very silly. And I had to get the book. Turns out it is silly and it's also a very good story. So today we're going to read Tacky the Penguin by Helen Lester, illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. Okay, let's get started. There once lived a penguin. His home was a nice icy land that he shared with his companions. See him sit on that big iceberg? My home is not a nice icy land, but it's very cold today. I live in North Alabama. His companions were named Goodly, Lovely, Angel, Neatly, and Perfect. His name was Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird. Check out him eating that sandwich with a fish on it. Isn't that funny? Every day, goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect greeted each other quietly and politely. Do you know how to greet each other quietly and politely? politely? <laughs> you would say, hello, good morning, hello, how are you? Tacky greeted them with a hearty slap on the back and a loud, What's happening? <laughs> I kind of like Tacky already. <laughs> Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. Always march neatly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tacky always marched. One, two, three, four, two, three, six, oh, two and a half, zero. <laughs> Isn't that Tacky funny? He does not march like the other penguins, does he? <laughs> His companions were graceful divers, but Tacky liked to do big, splashy cannonballs. Look at that. <laughs> Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect, always sang pretty songs like Sunrise on the Iceberg. Tacky always sang songs like How Many Toes Does a Fish Have? Tacky was an odd bird. Do you know what? That tacky kind of felt like an odd bird. I bet he felt a little bit left out. It's hard when you're different from other people. One day, the penguins heard the thump, thump, thump of feet in the distance. This could only mean one thing. Hunters had come. Oh no, look, they're hiding. They look very afraid. When you're a penguin, you don't want hunters to come. They came with maps and traps and rocks and locks and they were rough and tough. And as the thump, thump, thump got closer, the penguins could hear their growly voices chanting. We're gonna catch some pretty penguins and we'll march them with a switch and we'll sell them for a dollar and get rich, rich, rich. Oh my, they look very mean, don't they? Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly and perfect ran away in fright. They, they uh, hid behind a block of ice. Look at them, hiding there. Now what did Tacky do? Tacky stood alone. The hunters marched right up to him, chanting, We're going to catch some pretty penguins, and we'll march them with a switch, and we'll sell them for a dollar and get rich, rich, rich. And look, Tacky's just standing there. He must be very brave indeed. Let's see what he does now. What's happening? <laughs> Blared Tacky, giving one hunter an especially hearty slap on the back. They growled, we're hunting for penguins, that's what's happening. He almost knocked that hunter down, slapping him on the back, didn't he? Penguins, said Tacky. You mean those 
those birds that march neatly in a row. And he marched one, two, three, four, two, three, six, oh, two and a half, zero. The hunters looked puzzled. <laughs> That's not how penguins march. Do you mean those birds that dive so gracefully? And he did a big, splashy cannonball. The hunters looked wet. Isn't that funny? Boy, he's confusing them. Do you mean those birds that sing such pretty songs? And Tacky began to sing, and from behind, behind the block of ice came the voices of his companions, all singing as loudly and dreadfully as they could. How many toes does a fish have? How many wings on a cow? I wonder, yep, I wonder. <laughs> I'm very good at singing dreadfully, aren't I? I'm a good dreadful singer. I bet you can sing dreadfully. Can you sing, sing how many toes does a fish have? How many toes does a fish have? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the hunters could not stand the horrible singing. This could not be the land of pretty penguins. They ran away with their hands clasped tightly over their ears, leaving behind their maps and traps and rocks and locks and not looking at all tough. Boy, I bet those penguins are relieved. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect hugged Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird, but a very nice bird to have around. Isn't that a great story? And see, here's the lesson in this story. Sometimes we feel like an odd bird because we're not exactly like other people. But it turns out you are made to be exactly who you are. And all you have to do is try to be the best you you can be. And when you grow up, you'll realize that you're just what the world needed. I love you very much, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day, and remember, it doesn't matter if it's cloudy or rainy where you are. You just bring your own sunshine and be happy anyway. <laughs> I'll see you soon. If you, if you enjoyed this story, have someone leave a comment below and let me know, and I'll be sure and read you more. And if there's a special story that you'd really like for me to read to you, have someone put the title of it below, and I'll look and see if I can find that book and read it in an upcoming video. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye-bye.